Hey, so following on to the last video, um, it was becoming obvious that I should explain a little bit more about variables and how they work and constants and how they work. So for refresher in the last one, right, we had a variable, a variable, and a mutable variable. And uh, so I'm gonna go a little bit more into depth about that. So let's make a new file, 05 variables. Dot rust or s so yeah our last one we had have a main function so function main still taking no arguments still has a body all right we might still need standard i let's see what we end up doing uh so let let's let variable x right equal one two three there right so let's print lin print a line bang x is X is X there. So just starting right there, rest C O five variables. And then I should be able to run O five variables. There you go. X is one, two, three. Now I can update this. Now it looks like I am reassigning X, but I'm really not. This might make more sense if I do this way. And let's put that there. So this might make more sense. Just show what's actually happening. So it's actually, if you notice, all right, so I set X to one, two, three, print it off. It's one, two, three. In the braces, I set X to 456, print it off at 456. I'm outside, and it's back to 123. This X, the second X, is actually shadowing. It's not actually a reassignment. Let's, but like if it was mutable, I think this works. So I've got a mutable Y. Steal this line. So I want to type it all. Let's squeeze this in. There you go. Now I can steal this line. Here. Okay, so you notice since it's mutable, when I reassign Y to 456, it's still there. So this is still the same Y. So like, if I were to try and do the same thing with a non-mutable, it should just say no, I believe. It should just give me an error. So let's make a Z that's not mutable. all Y's with Z's here yeah 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 oh you can already see it's giving me an error message or it was yeah there's a cannot assign twice to mutable variable Z right in my Emacs but I will compile it to also show it over here yep there you go it's like nope you can't do that so you just straight up can't do it so that's the difference between mutable and immutable right so that just doesn't work That's that. The other one that's interesting is there's also constants. A constant is basically a variable, but you can't even shadow, right? So let's take const. And there's other restrictions on it, but that's the main thing, right? Normally they're all caps, so I'm gonna do const c and make this one, one, two, three. Oh, 
yeah, that's another thing. I've been just letting it assume the type of constants you actually have to specify that. So like these are all 32-bit integers by just assumption. And you could specify that with these, but I'm not. It just is inferring it. Here I actually have to say it. Now this shouldn't work. I should not be able to then say... So shadowing. Shadowing should not work. And you can see my Emacs is already giving me an error message saying C is defined multiple times. But let's compile it and see the error as well. Yeah. You just cannot do that. I also can't do it this way. Actually, can I do it that way? Well, now I'm confused. <laughs> Apparently, you can do it that way. So you can shadow it in a scope. You just can't shadow it outside of a scope. That's interesting. I was not expecting that. So I just learned the thing myself. OK, cool. The other thing is, is you can't assign it to things that it has to be something that's static, right? So like we haven't talked about functions yet other than main is one. But like I couldn't assign, I couldn't write a function have C as a constant be assigned to its value. It has to be something it can immediately determine. Uh, so we'll come back to that whenever we actually start talking about functions. But that's one of the other differences.